chosen ones is G Wells with them and them are you which are the chosen ones and I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look chosen ones, you want to love with a purpose. You want to love that is attached to your purpose. Because anytime you in that little bitty bag and not in your purpose and you look for love, it's going to be attached to your insecurities. It's going to be attached to the things that broke you. So when you're not in your purpose and you look for love, you're going to be looking for things that fulfill those voids within yourself from the past relationships you had, from the hurts from the past relationship, from, from the things that your family, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your auntie, your cousins didn't give you. You gonna look for love in those areas for people to fulfill those things within you. See, when you get a love with purpose, now your criteria for love is coming from a perspective of your higher self, of you being completely whole and healed and not needing no one to fulfill those inner voids that you missed out on when you were younger or those past traumas. It's coming from a place of you see yourself in your greatest version of yourself in the best place you see yourself and you doing the thing that you want to do in your life. See, when you get a love that is with purpose, this person adds value to you. They add value to your purpose. So they will actually help you elevate. Now you're looking for someone to add to your purpose and, and you know where you're going. So you know what direction you're going to. So now you can vet and gauge a person from a better perspective of being in your purpose because now you know where you're going. So you know where this person needs to be going and they can help you get there and vice versa. That's why that person needs to be in their purpose as well. You need a love with a purpose. Because when you have a love with a purpose, you're not looking for love from a perspective of you needing someone to fulfill and, and fill all these voids of things that you missed out on from past relationships and past things you had to go through with your family, things you missed out on with your family, the love you didn't get from your mom, your dad, your sister, whoever. You need a love with a purpose. Because look here. Most people, they look for love when they're not in their full glory, when they're not in their purpose, when they're not in their higher self. And they find someone to fulfill these voids. And then once those voids are somewhat, I guess, fulfilled and then they get in their purpose and they start elevating then they see no use for this person they see that this person is no good for them this person doesn't add any value to them and then this is when all the conflict and drama starts this is when the, the, the nasty divorces and all this stuff goes on I got a verse for y'all 1 Corinthians 7 verse 8 and this is Paul saying this. He said, so I say to those who aren't married and widows, it's better to stay unmarried just as I am. And Paul was saying this because if you go a few verses up, he was saying how when you're married, a woman is devoted to her husband and the husband is devoted to his wife. And they really don't have time for prayer and to really do the will of the most high. But when you're single, you can really get out that little bitty bag and get in your purpose and really fulfill the thing that the Most High wants you to do without ceasing, without having to put your attention on anything else. You can really focus on the Most High. You don't have to worry about pleasing your woman because the, the, the Bible tells us, the Word tells us a woman must honor her husband and her husband must honor his wife and you must please her and she must please him sexually. So, if you're single, get out that little bit of bag, get in your purpose. Because love is not the main thing on the table for you right now. It's your purpose. Because that's what's going to heal you. Not love from another individual. Because you're just going to attract another broken individual that's trying to get someone to fill a void within themselves. You need a love with a purpose. 
If the Most High was so gracious enough to give you a vision of where you're going in life, to show you who you really are, to show you once you really heal yourself who you really gonna be and what you really gonna do, what is it him? What is it for the Most High to not give you a significant other that complements this lifestyle that He's already set out for you? What is it? The thing is, we want the love and all this stuff first. No, get out that little bitty bag, get in your purpose, and then that love will come. If the God, if, if God is so gracious to, to renew you and put you on a, in a high place and, and just turn your life around, make you a different and better person, give you resources, finances, and abundance, what is it for the most high to not give you a significant other to share that with? But you gotta get you together first. Because if you try to go out and get love beforehand, and I'm pretty sure we all done this. I'm guilty. We try to go get love without a purpose. And you get someone just to cradle and rock your little insecurities and make you feel better about yourself. You're becoming a slave to that individual because now you attach because they're fulfilling a void within you. And even if it's toxic, you gonna stay there, but because they're filling the void for you. Something you missed out on, or something you never experienced, you never been loved. See what I'm saying? That's why you have to love yourself first. God is self-love, love yourself. God is self-love. The whole message of the Most High is self-love because you can't get out your little bitty bag and get in your purpose. You can't become your higher self. You can't get what the Most High got for you. You can't become a better person until you love yourself first, right? It all starts with you. The Most High is self-love. You was created in His image and likeness. Self-love. But when you look for love from others, you become a slave to the world. And I got a verse for you. 1 Corinthians 7, 23. God paid a high price for you. So don't be enslaved by the world. God paid a high price for y'all. Don't be enslaved by the world. Don't enslave your world, your, don't enslave yourself to the world by having the world fulfill a void within you that you can fill. Don't become a slave to someone. You don't need love from someone else. You need love from yourself. You need to heal yourself. You need to fill the voids yourself. You need a love with a purpose. A divine love that's attached to your purpose that is gonna meet you at your high place. You need a love that's gonna elevate with you as you go on and elevate on the different levels and manifest your purpose. You don't need a stagnant love that's on one level. You need a divine love with a purpose that's gonna meet you at your high call. That's gonna meet you at your higher self. You need a love with a purpose. Y'all know what it is. She wails with them. Let's go.